Kaylee Humphreys, Keisha Love, victory for the second time in 24 hours. Kaylee, your sixth women's bobsleigh race on this track. Does that ever get old? No, <laughs> it never gets old. I, I will admit, um, these girls put up a heck of a fight, and it really took a team effort today. You know, Keisha coming into this race, only her second World Cup, but understanding that I had a heck of a week traveling, and athletically, I'm not 100% there. So she really had to step up, which she did. Um, she took on the challenge, and we did it together as a team. And Keisha, you do realize that rookie break women don't always get gold medals in like race two. And you're coming in right at the absolute top level in Olympic season. Do you feel that that's kind of a good way to start or a really high pressure way to start? I mean, both. It's definitely great and it's definitely high pressure at the same time. But pressure is never anything that we ever stray from. Pressure makes diamonds at the end of the day. So, but and honestly, like Team USA is just filled with bobsled legends. Like I am mentored by the best the sport has ever seen. So it's I'm in really good hands over here, so it's great. Kaylee, we go now to Winterberg. It's a very different nature track, but again, it's another one where the driver has a big input into the result, and, and that's what you need, right? Correct. Um, again, Winterberg is a very different feel. The top you know, portion of the track is really slow, and it's really flat, so you really have to try and find time, and then it picks up very, very quickly and becomes a lot more technical at the bottom, and being able to switch as a pilot um, you know, is key. The start is also extremely important. Tell us about the Beijing track. You've had your first view of it. It's, it's longer, it, it's more spectacular. It's very different to anything. What, what do you think compares most closely to the Beijing Olympic track? Um, there's not too much that really compares to it. I mean, the, the pressures are quite great, but the corners are smooth. Um, the sled likes to slide around a lot, so you really have to work to create pressure. Um, but any little mistake you do is also very costly. So it's kind of like if you kind of were to merge some of Winterberg, some of Lake Placid, some of Altenburg, it really has a piece of every track in it. It's long, which I personally like. It's technically very hard to go down fast. And I think that's the trick. There's lots of little times when you can look smooth, it can be okay, but you're not quick. And so to find time and speed and to be very fast is, is going to be the challenge to not make mistakes. And you know, the start is always important nowadays with, you know, the brakemen turning into pilots. So we definitely need these young bucks like Keisha to give my old butt a, a good push here. Um, but yeah, the Beijing track is spectacular. It is super fun to drive. The length of it is nice. So you actually get into a good rhythm and feel. And um, as a pilot, you got a lot of time to feel it out, uh, but it's definitely gonna be challenging. From your own point of view, 2010 Vancouver, the whole own the podium program, you know what that home track feel, that comfort, brings to an athlete. Are the Chinese going to benefit from that, do you think? Definitely. I think every home track advantage plays a big factor. I think the length of that track, obviously, the better driver you are is going to play into your favor. You have time to reel it back in. It's not just about how fast you start and who can get to the bottom. The fastest, you've got time to really make up a start deficit if you've got one. And so um, home field advantage on those tracks that are more technical is definitely of importance. Look for corner two. That is definitely one of the hardest corners on that track and will make the most amount of time up towards the bottom if uh, you make mistakes up top. And so, um, yeah, the Chinese definitely are going to have a home field advantage. I know that they stayed during the COVID year and they were just sliding on that track the entire year. And so they're definitely going to be ones to watch um, amongst the Canadians and the Germans and, and USA.